For more than four decades, Dick Gregory has fought for human rights. He blazed a path for black comedians in the 1960s with his outspoken and provocative humor. Now, as he battles a life-threatening disease, hundreds turn out for a tribute in his honor. It seems that Dick has a feeling that you all are here because you think he won't be around much longer. And there's two ways to look at that. Suppose nobody showed up. Master of Ceremonies, Bill Cosby, Isaac Hayes, director Bill Duke, and Cicely Tyson were among the many stars who turned out to honor comedian and activist Dick Gregory. Tell me why you came out here tonight. To celebrate, uh, I think, a great American, a great civil rights person, a great comedian. Gregory himself views this tribute from a broader perspective. I feel this has never happened before in the history of the, of the movement. That uh, just a cross section of people come together to, to say thanks. And that says something about the movement and says something about the spirit. I'm doing just fine. I've been married 42 years. The night's entertainment reflected on Gregory's early days, beginning as a chain-smoking, overweight comedian, then activist, and later the inventor of the Bohemian Diet, all of which he details in a new book. I, I, know, I know that Mr. Gregory spent a little time in Chicago. In fact, we got to start the Playboy Club in Chicago, and uh, I just want to say I'm from Chicago too, so let me just, you know, make you feel at home. <laughs> He helped me get started with comedy when I was doing Star Search. I used one of his jokes uh, in the competition. Surprisingly, until now, Gregory has never been honored over his 40-year career. And Coretta Scott King said it's about time. What we have here is a long overdue and richly deserved love feast for a man who has poured his heart and soul into the struggle for human liberation and social decency. If anybody deserved to be honored, certainly Dick Gregory did. Gregory's friends are also here out of concern for his health. A 68-year-old activist is now battling lymphoma. What are your thoughts now uh, since he's got another fight, which is cancer? Well, what Dick's talking about, it, he, the battle seems to be affecting us more than him. He's got that bag full of herbs. You now, he might live longer than the rest of us. What do you think people are most uh, influenced by, by what you've done over these four decades that you've been out here? Oh, I think they're most influenced by the fact I never had a hidden agenda. And I think, uh, I mean, that's why the FBI or the CIA have never been able to, to bust me or plant nothing on me. I just never had a hidden agenda. Now, proceeds from tonight's gala will go to Gregory to help with his medical expenses, and friends hope he will slow down, but that seems unlikely. He told me he's planning a protest for next week against police brutality. Reporting from the studios here in Washington, D.C., back to you.